Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. <clears throat> Man, I had a little frog in my throat. Let's just get right into the, we'll get into the guy things, because our sponsor of the day is the Shark Tank Boys. And, uh, well, I want to say thank you to them, but anyway, uh, the, Spur, the Spurs got swept, man. And they didn't, Parker and Leonard out, they didn't have a chance anyway. So, you do agree with me on that. That wasn't, when, <clears throat> when Kawhi went out, they lost that first game up 24, it was over. Okay. They lost their general, they yeah. lost their playmaker, they were done. Okay, totally agree with that. So, don't, don't bet on Spurs anymore. So, don't do that, they're done. <clears throat> Cavaliers, I think they're going to end up beating Boston, of course. And then we're back into the same finals. As we get older, are sports less and less watched by you? Yep. Why is that? Uh, I just have other things to do. Uh, I still I still like college football. I like pro football. Right. Uh, March Madness used to be my shiznit. Shiznit. And, I mean, I, I used to watch as many games as I could. Right. And I watched the finals this year. I watched Baylor. Some uh, of their games. And then here. I watched... Uh, I agree with that. I agree with that. I just... Uh, there's other things that interest me. And there's another reason that I lost interest in sports. Okay. What? And it's because back in the day when, uh, <clears throat> I, back in the day when I was booking, right? You were with us for a little while, right? The games didn't matter anymore. That's that's like our other buddy. It's it's. Yeah. Too much of a you're you won't you're not root you're not watching the game now. Yeah, yeah, you can't root for the game. You root for who you need to win. Yeah. yeah. And it kinda took the fun out of out of watching. And I and I wanted to see some because for me, I am I and, like watching. And you know what? Out of all them games I watched, I never had an influence on who won. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. Be yeah. Believe it or not, I had nothing to do with who won. Or but it all. still made you. But it made me not care anymore. Right. I am a sports fan, so I like to watch. But I'm not a diehard anymore since we're so we are kind of busy, and the red zones on Sunday, so it mine just goes bounces around, and I'm. That's uh, my, our little football deal helped. Our uh, fan duel thing. That does help. That helped draw my attention back to pro football at right. least. Right, right. Uh, and then we were doing basketball for a while. Uh, that got you back into it a yeah, little bit. Because I needed certain players to do well right. when I watched some of the games. <clears throat> I do like to watch the Rangers. I watch rugby. I watch, but I don't sit down and go, oh my gosh, the game's on. I watched two minutes of the game last night. And I find myself, yeah, I, I find myself going... And I'm not on my phone, I'm not doing anything, but I find myself, well, I'm on my phone, my script writing deal, but I feel like I'm, it has to be on for me to work. I can't have it off. Right. If I'm in my house and Stephanie's not here, it's on Sports Center just playing. You know what, I've got to where I don't even turn the TV on hardly. It, I used to have it on where it could watch me, make sure I was doing everything I was supposed to, and now, Sometimes I don't even turn that sucker on. I'm not that good yet, folks. I really. But ain't. it's not like you're watching it. No, I'm not watching. Now you may hear I'm a story here. and you'll hop up and run in there and watch it. Yeah, I'm in here. I'm in the <laughs> office, and it's on in there. Now I take that back. If I can watch the Cowboys, I watch the Cowboys. Yes. Yeah. I just I more so now that they're back on on, on track and getting some wins. You know, the last at the. 25 years it's been tough it has been tough thank you for all the comments we even got a text from <clears throat> big john yesterday uh saying thanks we want to say you're quite welcome to everybody yeah and i didn't get a chance to reply to that and finally i replied on on the thread this morning you know what there's a whole lot of people not just big john but there's a whole lot of people in the world that go unappreciated i totally agree and i, I totally Agree. Feeling appreciated 
is an awesome feeling. Right. I, I, for me, I know. For what you do, that's, that is, and, and I'll tell you for me, you know how, like you said, that's what you like. For me, what I like is, is I like when Big Sizzle, your son, will send me a text of what we're doing. He, man, I appreciate you helping me. I like that. And I can see his work. That's when I get it. I'm like. And that goes back to a show we did, I think, last week when we talked about Big John gets paid to be a bouncer. Yeah. He does. Right. We don't have to say thank you. No, we don't. But it sure made him feel good. Yep. So if there's somebody out there that, deserves a pat on the back or a hug or, or whatever however you think them i think however you want to and that is true it is it is and we have a good staff you know rex and sometimes gary when he's on his game but you know <clears throat> that switching subjects switching subjects we do that we fly hey. on the fly you rubbing your ear right I'm on here? the phone. I'm talking. You do on the phone. You think I need one of them fidget deals? This is your only deal. Just like no. mine is. Mine is. I do this all the time. Pull my fingers together, and and I do this. And I'm sure if you go back and watch the shows, you, you <laughs> you'll see it. That like I'm waiting on my turn. It's like well, okay, what am I supposed to do? So I'm just gonna kind of. Well, he does his fingers <clears throat> like this when we're sitting around Red Sea talking. Just kind of and, pulling his earlobe. And that's my my Phelps ears. But I wonder if I could have one of those. Caden had one the other day, and I was playing with it, and it's like, you know, it just gives you something to do. Are you? Do you feel like why? Why are you fidgety? Why do you feel like I don't you know. need that uh, stimulation? And I've been seeing them online. They sell them at the dang stores. Yeah. It's a. Is it just a stimulant for you to not do this, or is it just another thing for this? What's the? What's wrong with this? If you're gonna do my this. ear might end up being that long. That's <laughs> what's wrong with it. My OCD habit, when my hair is down, is this right here, and I'll do it all day, especially when my hair is down. When my hair's not down, I don't, my glasses are on my head, I'm not, I don't. But don't you still do me. this. Oh, yeah. I'll on do the top it. part. I'll do this because I don't like my stuff sticking out. But that's my OCD. But I don't know if this would stop this because it's so much of a deal now. I don't know. But. Mine is this. Well. Key wallet phone. Key wallet phone. Yeah. I, I when I get this. ready to go. Key, uh, uh, what the? Airport. In the Airport. Down on Vegas Street, uh, Fremont Street in New York, any place crowded, I walk like this. Because I keep my phone in my front pocket and I keep my wallet in my front pocket and I walk like this. And I always tuck my keys right here. That's dangerous. So, <laughs> I got a Vegas story for y'all. Go ahead. And you already know it. Fire away. I get to Vegas, I got just kind of money right here. Right. And I got some more <laughs> money over here that. It's just in case, man. Right. And it for me, it's a substantial amount. I like it. It was way more than me. And uh, we go down. We're doing a little game. Well, before we leave the room, I can't find a room key. Right. So I'm searching. I'm searching. There's an in-room safe. It's locked. I got to get security up to open it. Want to put a... Uh, and her valuables and that kind of stuff in it and lock it up. Well, we didn't get to, so I put it, hit it way in the back, right. you know. Housekeeper's coming, I'm going to hide it way back in the bag. They'd have to go through it all to, to get right. it. So, find the key, go on down. Hours later, after roulette, I come back, I go to get, my money's gone. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> It is a sinking feeling. I want to give you another Now, one. I could have lost it all on the table and been fine. I told you. But I went. I went. I don't have my money. She goes, what are you talking about? I said, all my money, I don't have it. I had it right here with the key in it. And she went, you're kidding me. I went, no, I'm not kidding you. And so I, I, I stood there for a second. She said, do we need to go back down and look for it? And I went, probably not. 
So I turn, and there it is sitting on the counter where I had set it down. In the bathroom right when you leave by the door. Trying yep. to get into yep. the deal. Right. And nothing was cleaned around it. So I, I, I'm, I'm almost positive the cleaning lady thought it was a, she was being Trap. set up. Yeah. She was being set up. And just said, forget it, I ain't messing with it. Yeah. And for two days, I was like, I almost feel like I need to tip her for not taking that money. Because I had talked to her the morning before. You should have. And she's a older lady, sweet. You probably should Fun. She would have been appreciated if you did that. Would have been appreciated. And it bothers me that now that I didn't. Just by that much. But she was just doing her job. Right. You know, so I can justify not me not doing it. She's not supposed to steal <laughs> anyway. And I don't know if they can accept it anyway. They, I'm sure she would have. But you made the point. But I could have went down. You could have went down there and said, hey, I appreciate yeah, that lady, because I and I'm and I may still send an email, because I'm sure they can look back and see who was on that floor that day. But that's a good deal. She, she had a good Christmas laying there. She had a good Christmas. Christmas in July. She, she could have sent it to Goodfellas, <laughs> but <laughs> but she didn't, and I appreciate it. Yeah, she Esperanza will, or whatever she your will name be appreciated. was. Appreciated. Our sponsor today is the Sharp Tank Boys. I gotta collect the, some money from them. If you need for the ad, yeah. If you need, if you are a, if you like sports and you like to gamble, you can't gamble with them. They're just gonna tell you what their opinions are. I bet they can set you up with somebody though. They probably could, but we don't want to get them in trouble. But if you want to just find out who you think might win and take the other team where you will win, that's who you contact. Our lunch special today is a Philly cheesesteak hamburger. Here's the picture. Holy moly. It's got french fries and a drink for $9. And Chris, you made a great point. Barry found this in Vegas. And I'm going to tell you folks, this is a picture. Um, your burger probably will not look like this, but it'll be dang close. Barry, we're calling you out. It better look like that. And I'm just going to say, when he showed me the picture, I, I might be having me a Philly cheesesteak burger. These are limited time. It ain't going to be on the menu forever. It's a limited time. Please. I was watching Triple D last night. Triple D. As I do before I go to bed. Right, right. And remember when we had the brisket burger? Yes. That was on one of the legends of Texas. The Chop, at chop House in, in Arlington. And I've right. eaten there. And I had the burger. And after Calvin left, we went away from that. Yeah. That is a very easy burger to make. It has a totally different flavor, so I may have them make me one. Might me to have to do that. Just to see if maybe that's something we put back on, I like on, that. on the menu. I like your thought. We're getting out of here today because we have to go pick up some chairs. 62 chairs. 68 of them. That's what I said. 68 chairs. So our work is never done. And we did get a lot of comments. I did get a lot of people looking at this, not comment, at our shirts in Vegas. Yeah. I saw that on the plane and I saw it whenever, especially when me and you were, or Gerald Warhead, we were close right. together. So to all those people that are new fans who are probably watching us, congratulations. Your 15 minutes have been wasted. Yep. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are out.